Dr. Lakshman Shabaria, second year PG resident from Department of Radio Diagnosis, SBKS Medical College and Research Institute from Vadodara. My paper title is The Role and Evolution of Pulsatile Index of MCA and Umbilical Artery in Second and th Third Trimester Pregnancy in Determining the Fetal Well-Being. Placental insufficiency, the primary or secondary to the maternal factor, such as a hypertension, poor nutrition, is the most important factor accounting for perinatal morbidity, morbidity or mortality. So currently, doctoral ultrasound of the utero-placental umbilical and fetal vessels have been established as a method for the antenatal monitoring. Out of the umbilical, ves umbilical vessels and the middle cerebral artery are the common vessels assessed by the Doppler ultrasound, and these vessels have emerged as a vessel of choice in Doppler assessment of fetal, intracranial, as well as other organ perfusion. The aims and objective of the study study normal reference range of pulsatile index in the MCA and the umbilical artery to determine the role of PA in predict, predicting the outcome of the pregnancy. Material and methods. Inclusion criteria include the 19th to 36th week of gestation, singleton pregnancy, absence of the severe maternal complications, and there is no evidence of fetal anomalies on sonogram. The exclusion criteria was the any pregnancy with the documented major congenital anomalies or multiple pregnancy. This study was conducted between the April 2023 to October. We have recruited 150 women with pregnancy that met our qualification criteria. Prior to Doppler assessment, all women underwent the grayscale ultrasonography to evaluate the multiple pregnancy, fetal anomalies, and for biophysical bio profile to include the AC, AC, FL, and BPD as per headlock formula. After a satisfactory Doppler waveform were, uh, were recorded, PIO of umbilical artery and MCA were noted over the three uh, consecutive cardiac cycles, and ratio of MCA, PA, and uh, umbilical PA was calculated. Follow-up scan for each patient was performed if needed. An outcome of each pregnancy was determined in terms of C-section, normal delivery, fetal life or death, APGAR score, fetal weight, and NICU admission for less than seven or more than seven days. The NC scan was performed at the Raj Hospital. The observation and analysis of this study showing PI value of MCA in this study group, which are plotted here. PI value of umbilical artery in this study group which are plotted here. This graph and table shows the adverse outcome in this study group. The out of 150 patients, 70 had, 78 patients had a C-section and uh, 103 patients had the small for gestation age. 56 patients had the APGAR score less than 7 and 54 patients had the NIC admission for more than 7 days. This table showing perinatal outcome in the study group according to the value of individual umbilical artery PA. So out of abnormal PA, the 93% shows adverse prenatal outcome and 92% shows the C-section for fetal distress. This table showing the parental outcome in the study group according to the value of individual MCA PA. The out of abnormal MCA PA, the 72% had shows adverse prenatal outcomes and 70% sold C-section for fetal distress. So as compared to previous two tables, this table shows the ratio of MC and PA to effect on the adverse outcome. The out of abnormal ratio, the 96% has sold the adverse prenatal outcome and 88% has sold the C-section for fetal distress as compared to the previous individual ratio. This is the graphical form of the ratio effect on the outcome. The diagnostic performance of PA, individual PA, and the ratio for adverse parental outcome, the, as compared to the individual, the cerebral umbilical ratio has a higher sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value. The result of this study, the, in this study, 76 patients saw the abnormal Cerebral umbilical ratio among these 96 percent had adverse outcome as compared to the individual umbilical artery and MCA PA. The diagnostic performance of various Doppler flow indices determining the adverse outcome was assessed. 
the result is the sensitivity, specificity, and positive predictive value and the negative predictive value of the cerebral umbilical ratio was the highest as compared to the other indices. So IOGR is a pathological condition strongly related to the development and function of the ultraplacental or fetoplacental circulation. And adequate fetal circulation is necessary for normal fetal growth. So the normal umbilical artery waveform shows the low impedance and high diastolic flow with the low PA. And MCA shows the high resistance and low diastolic flow with the high PA. So in IOGR, umbilical flow is significantly reduced mainly due to the changes in the placental vascular resistance. And this is the describes umbilical placental insufficiency. Patient with absent diastolic volume, the reverse end diastolic volume have the gravest, gravest outcome. Fetal with the absence and diastolic volume requires the intensive surveillance as fetal well-being may be deteriorated within the days. So there's a asymmetric growth retardation. There is a high umbilical RTPA and low MCAPA. So as a result, the ratio is altered so less than one and the growth retarded of fetus. There's a significant association between the cerebral umbilical ratio and the head circumference and abdominal circumference ratio it can be assessed. This is, there, this is the form of umbilical artery doubler. So the first picture shows the low impedance and the high diastolic flow with low PA. It's normal for umbilical artery. Second is a decrease in diastolic flow. The, so there is an increase in PA. So this is abnormal. Third one is absence of diastolic flow. The fourth one is reversal of diastolic flow in umbilical, umbilical artery. So this picture shows MCA Doppler. First shows high resistance and low diastolic flow with increased PA, which is a normal. Second one is a high diastolic, and which is a low MCA PA, which is abnormal. Concluding the V for the diagnosis of IUGR alone, Doppler velocimetry is not sensitive enough. And the normal study does not also rule out the IUGR which should be then be diagnosed using other means. Among the Doppler indices, the cerebral umbilical ratio is a better predictor for small for gestation age fetus and adverse parental outcome than either individual umbilical artery PA or MCPA alone. However, measurement of umbilical artery PA is enough to detect IUGR per se, probably because umbilical artery PA is a direct reflection of the resistance of placental vascular blood. Thank you.